Peace, love, and infinite light, my friends. I hope that you are all having a wonderful, beautiful, magical day today. My name is Sheldon and I help people ascend their consciousness and discover the path to enlightenment. If you guys are new to this channel, do me a favor and destroy the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Today I'm going to talk about the age of Aquarius and what to expect in this upcoming new age, this golden age. I'm extremely excited for this transition that humanity is going through for this great awakening for you know the great conjunction, the event happening on December 21st, the planetary alignment, the return of Christ consciousness, and the entering in to the age of Aquarius. So what can we expect out of the age of Aquarius? We can expect as a collective, not giving our powers to you know governing forces such as the government you know, religions, and we're going to give our power back to ourselves. So this is going to be huge entering this age, right? You know, in the age of Pisces, we could see that we gave a lot of our power to, you know, governments and religious systems and all that stuff. And really what it does is it takes away the power that we have within. So entering this new age, we are going to stop giving our power to you know, external sources, because the power is always found within. Once we turn our attention inward, we start to notice our true divinity. And that's what the age of Aquarius is going to be all about. The age of Aquarius is also going to be about, you know, the golden age of technology and electricity. I believe that a lot of inventions that Nikola Tesla had, you know, invented and planned on rolling out to the world, such as, you know, free electricity are going to be you know, unrevealed, they're going to be taken out of the closed, you know, cabinets, if you will, and they're going to be brought to light. So this is going to be a very exciting time. The world's going to have, you know, sustainable energy, things that we don't have to pay for. You know, communities are going to be sustainable within this golden age of Aquarius, and it's going to be a very exciting time. So, you know, I'm really excited for fresh food, non-GMO food, no pesticides, things like that. You know, really this age is gonna be about freedom and abundance, the way this world was designed originally. Before there was dark manipulating forces that took over, you know, essentially everything from, you know, your education system to your food supply to, you know, big business, governments, all that stuff, right? So that's gonna go away. The dark manipulating forces are gonna go away because of the vibration of the planet is going to be extremely high and these dark low vibrational forces will not be able to survive on this planet right so it's a very exciting time to be alive and it's a very exciting time to be stepping into this age of Aquarius and like I've been saying in my previous videos it's just a really important time to you know really raise your vibration and you know be in a loving state because this is exactly what this age of Aquarius is gonna be all about. We're also gonna enter an age of group consciousness where we're gonna be able to, you know, manifest together, just like we have been in the past few months or year here, where we've seen global meditations that have, you know, essentially spike the human resonance off the off the charts, which is the geomagnetic frequency around the earth that's gonna come more to light. And we're gonna to start to see, you know, more global meditations take place, more of a one mind in order to manifest things, you know, on this planet. Back in the day, back in, you know, the ancient Egyptian days or the, you know, Atlantean days, they were able to, if there was any darker evil forces, they were able to really, you know, come together, meditate, and manifest these forces away because group consciousness is extremely, extremely powerful. We're also gonna enter an age where people are able to tap into, you know, telepathy, you know, their extra senses, astral travel. This is all about fifth dimensional consciousness, right? So we're gonna start to tap into our natural powers that have, you know, really been dormant for a long time. We're gonna all start to tap into these powers and. And once we get into this golden age, we're going to start to notice that, you know, our DNA is different, our consciousness is different, and this is all going to happen from this event on December 21st. We are all going to receive significant upgrades to our DNA, to our consciousness, and we're going to start to tap into these powers that have been dormant 
for an extremely long time. So this is a very, very, very exciting time to be alive. I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm extremely excited to enter into this golden age. The age of Aquarius, the golden age, they call it a golden age. It's essentially the same golden age that the Atlanteans were in as well, the Egyptians, right? So imagine, you know, what these beings were able to do you know with society this is exactly what this age is going to be this age is going to be nothing like it is today it's not going to be about a nine to five job you know businesses and, and and corruption and greed all that stuff is going to go away and we're going to move into helping each other right and working for each other and sustaining environments and cities and stuff like that that's what we're going to move into you know, this is going to be a golden age of technology as well. I believe technology is going to blast off and not for the, you know, not for any bad, you know, sort of things because, you know, when you kind of think about technology blasting off in this day and age, you think about AI and how it can kind of get out of control. But I think we're going to utilize technology in the best way possible moving into this golden age of Aquarius. So, you know, extremely exciting times once again to be alive and just to be a part of this huge transition i believe that you know we all came here to be a part of this great awakening and there's a ton of souls right now that are waiting to incarnate on earth and it is said that you know if you if you incarnate on earth and you're a very brave person because this is the most dense you know place that you can live in but also the place where you learn and grow the most it's a very short time period that we are here you know compared to everywhere else essentially you know when you research the law of one and Dolores can and all that stuff it'll shed a lot of light on that but you know it's uh it, it's pretty humbling to understand that you know you really came here to be a part of this shift and a part of this awakening and individually we're all helping with this specific awakening just by raising our own vibrations so you know that's really all i wanted to say for what to expect coming into the age of aquarius some things that we're going to see and leaving the age of Pisces, the age of control and, and manipulation that we've seen and, and darkness and we're, we're gonna leave all that behind and we're just gonna step into a new world of freedom and abundance for everyone and, and a collective consciousness coming together and manifesting you know, beautiful things for humanity and I, I'm extremely excited guys and I'm excited for each and every one of you. I would like to thank each and every one of you that continues to you know watch my videos and support what I'm doing. The channel isn't massive by any means, but you know, if there's just a few people that I can help, um, that means the world to me and that really fills my heart. So uh, I really, really love you guys. I'm gonna keep doing this for you guys and I always appreciate you know that nice feedback and everything. It really goes a long way with me and uh, it really keeps me going. So it's pretty much all I wanted to say to you guys. I, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If you did, destroy the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, we'll part ways. So, Peace, love, and have a glorious, magical, wonderful, beautiful day, guys. Once again, I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of good energy, of course, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.